So the girl said you wanted to talk about something? Yeah, I want to talk to you about training me. Training? <laughs> I don't do that stuff no more. Sorry about that. Listen, it's getting kind of late, kid, so I'm going to uh, close up. How good was he? Paulo, yeah, he's great. He's a perfect fighter. Ain't nobody ever better. So how'd you beat him? Time beat him. Time, you know, takes everybody out. It's undefeated. Anyway, I got a lot. So when up. Mickey died, he came and talked to you, right? Talked you out of quitting. Took you to L.A. Trained you. Brought you back. How do you know all this? How do you think? Were you like a cousin? Or... He's my father. No, he is. I don't believe you. Call Marianne. Marianne, his wife. The house number still works. Oh, that's right. You haven't talked to her since the funeral. She said you gave a nice speech, though. Train me. All right, I need somebody solid, and who else better to go to? All right, you at least owe me that. I can tell the way you talk. You've been to school, you know, so I figure you got some brains. Why would you want to pick a fighter's life when you don't have to? If Apollo was around, he would tell you that too. Well, he ain't around. I've been fighting my whole life. I ain't got a choice. It's always about a choice. I was in the ring. I saw how it went down. That fight should have been stopped. I should have stopped it. Maybe you wanted to go out like a fighter. Maybe you did exactly what he wanted. I think he'd rather be here talking with you. time, so if you're ever in the neighborhood, come by if you need something. I'll be at Mickey's gym tomorrow. I don't go there. I haven't been there in a long time. Since we're pretty much like family, who won the third fight? You did. 